on the Luke. Is, this is a really tough matchup here. Luke's fireball, obviously very good, and his yep. buttons are really good stop signs for being able to stop Zangief in a lot of situations. But we'll see how it gets uh, piloted here. Obviously, game one of the first game of the night. Starting off, man. Dang. Open up, all right, of course. Wake up, perfect parry, the classic, man. That's some good damage off the bat. Oh, the DP on the first knockdown there. Let him know early. Mm -hmm. Let it rip, I like that. Yeah, man. I, I mean, and now I'm just really interested to see what GTR is going to do with that information, man. You see someone that afraid off the bat? Might be a good look. Let's see. Oh, too far from punish there. Is able to get the second crouch medium, though, but doesn't go for the full combo. Just values the knockdown. And just jumps out. Okay, yeah, GTR, yeah. Checks it, and then easy, easy conversion, man. Good stuff there. Something that's so important, right? Drive Rush just being a lot of times for people, you quote unquote, the skip neutral tool right as it were but people have just gotten a lot more proficient at checking this thing and need be that is something you need to be able to do with the street fire six absolutely as we just saw there being able to check with the standing heavy does the tech of the throw afterwards and now back to neutral as we're able to get the max distance forward medium and punish counter sometimes links to jab there so people want to block that's a great spd yeah okay how's it looking low here on health let's see what we can do though that's the meter to close it out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Definitely a tough one. CA, the right choice for sure. As okay, just enough to kill. I'm always a little yeah. I'm always a little worried with Geef, but it, you know, we close those. It don't out. even matter, man. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that critical heart just dumped in the mouth. <laughs> That's all it took. Alright, so all right. the game up here for Kaiser. Definitely a good start so far. Are a little unfortunate on the jump back there, misses out on the anti air, but things are still okay, Just keeping a mid screen. Yeah, but like you said, man, that fireball loops in particular, man, such a like, there's a thorn in Zangief's side, man, it's insane. But slowly but surely, so GTR find their way. We go for perfect carry here, jumps in, no, Just gets anti aired. Use that perfect. dry reversal. Mm. Mm. Okay, up to the fourth medium, still harassing. That would have been plus either way, so kind of taking the hit, not the worst thing that could happen in that spot, but again, crouching medium out of block stun in that situation. Let's stop everything Geef is going for and get the oh, punish counter man. on the whip. Yeah, for the wake up. All right, another dry reversal, man. DI, all right, we love it. And look at that damage, and here we go. Now we have an option. Oh my god, I was able to get the parry on the drive impact attempt. Very nice there to be able to get out for GTR and almost at that level three. Should step back here. Alright, drive not gonna be a check it. With a jab, always like that. A lot of people do getting more proficient with doing drive rush and the jab, right? To just kind of extend their combos just the quickness, especially when someone's trying to check it. Now in the corner. Ooh, I like that check. Doesn't want to take a plus frames. Except the normal tries to jump in, but oh, Morris, I've seen it before. I've seen it before. <laughs> no, not again, man. Oh my god, we can only hold up forward so much in spots like that. Definitely a weird one. But look at the drive rush into the the DP. Things work out. Yeah. Step back. Oh. Up backs out of that pressure and then gets anti air. Gonna have a trade situation though. Alright, just chilling. Another DP. Man. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be enough to kill here, but GTR still in a terrible spot here. Has the CA, but not quite there on being able to kill yet. It's gonna need like yeah. two interactions, but the interaction's not gonna come. What a great stop sign. The crouching medium is amazing for check. As soon as you see the green, I feel like Luke can just press that button with impunity, yeah. man. Oh, no. A thousand percent, man. I mean, he's got a couple buttons he can just kind of put out there, right? To really stop any of these drive rush attempts, right? So, I mean, really good stuff there by Kaiser. Really halting uh, from really starting up any of that offense. Okay, thank you, bro. You love it? <laughs> I love that conversion, dude. <laughs> Always. Trying to look for the running bear grab afterwards, though. Not going to work out. Still okay as Kaiser's able to find the low. Yeah. Slight confirms here. Trying to keep in the corner, but 
HDR is going to fight back. Good SPD. The step up. Okay. We spend in that green. Yo, that is an investment plan. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> spend it. Oh, okay. The punch low was a little too far to go with the Lariat there. Good recognition. Same situation there, but jumps and whips the, oh, whips the kick on the way up. Not what you want to see. Step back here. Yeah, easy whiff punish. Big decent amount of damage and looking that set up. Good punish counter on Thoreau. Yeah, he's seen that. He's going for a pair, wake up parry so often, man. And great, great counter option there by Kaiser. Yeah, that could be the set right here. Amazing to be able to stop the neutral jump again for the second time. Stop the sweep, but immediately afterwards with the SPD. Catch. All right, in the corner store. Oh, okay, let's get it. Full grappler, I like it. He's, he's invincible. Down one guest to go. Oh, good catch. Okay, has him in the corner, but it's burnout, out, but he's got meter too. You gotta respect it. Wow. Oh no, didn't have the Lariat on deck. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god, they just both start charging, but unfortunately, yeah. only one of us has armor in a spot only like that. Only one, man. Two to one! Dude, <laughs> that was crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, I tried to go for the same setup again. Not gonna work. Okay, overhead. Yeah. Chilling in the corner store. Yes, His supers do so much damage. Bro, that <laughs> level two is just <laughs> one of the most ridiculous supers in the game. Dude. That thing is insane. Oh, and is able to stuff the attempt at the offense there. Oh. So it's maintaining pressure here. I mean, that's just kind of the loop way of life, dude. You just get to press. What is the other person going to do about it? Good drive reversal there to be able to get out. But again, the anti are just to stop the drop kick. Yeah, man. All right, we're back in the corner. Yeah, but this time, it's a DI. Oh, we're moving coast to coast. Ooh, that could have been something, but gets checked here. However, Kaiser put himself in burnout. GTR does the same thing as well. And I would say there's one character that's probably a little bit better than the other when it comes to burnout. <laughs> no, definitely agreed. About amnesias, you can take, you can take life bars in that area. Yes. Thousand percent, man. That is definitely going to be the key to the game, man. Once you get that pressure in, <laughs> you see that amnesia, man. Will you not forget? Will you remember? We'll see, man. We'll get to get into it. Game one here, starting off with some pressure. We're gonna jump in. Get some of those charged normals as well. Some plus frames. Mm, great air to air there. Step back here. It's gonna have to block, but everything's pretty okay. Yeah. Threading at like the perfect, standing consistently right at the perfect range for Phalanx to kind of make Ark have to rethink how they're going to be able to use the Ghost, but instead a punish counter drive impact. Oh, and here we go, man. Watch that, watch that damage fly. And now we got the pressure, man. Just like great awareness, you know. Didn't get these initial hits, but that didn't matter, right? It was about that gate, right? What they had to expand just to, to be in it, and now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's your soul. I mean, that's just how things can go. Things get messy in a hurry, gets burned out. And I feel like the departure must have been an execution error, but still things work out in the end here. Let's yeah. see from Sophie. Okay. Art fighting back now, being more, a bit more preemptive as they're approaching the corner. I like that. Okay, in that spot here. The frame trap actually, but the closer forward fakes yeah, the ghost and gets goes. the anti air. Yeah, we love it. And then the teleport, man. Saruman's blessing. Great timing on the throw. Tries to go up the phalanx. It's a little too far. Oh, man. In close and 
No, unfortunate mix up. Just what was needed. Make Sophie burn out, and then of course, easy damage there. Close it out. Let's see it. Game round three. Dash is able to deal with those for the most part here. Jump in easily stopped, and I feel like that's like the stopgap in this matchup here. Is that yeah. being able to time those jumps and find your way in is so so difficult because you can't really approach on the ground. JP's kind of got your number in that. His medium buttons sure. are absurd. Yeah, I mean, and then that anti air, right? That they're so dang good. Here we go. Opportunity here. And yeah. touch, doesn't find the level three. Teleport comes through. Misses okay. out on the Odium oh. Music. This is huge. Oh. We're going to get cornered. <laughs> Time to play a game. Man, cornered and in burnout. And look at all that drive gauge. Oh, we got bills. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice extensions. Is it enough? Oh. Not quite. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no Ooh. world. Put that helmet on, girl. That's it, man. Something with the great blocks in the end there. One to zero. What a way to overcome. Like you said, man. Just need a you know, couple hits. That's all it takes. But I really love the way that Sufi's playing this uh, meteor game, right? Like, this meteor game has been really, really good. Just slowly but surely walking in the corner. You know, not getting too eager to get damage. But just as I say this, man, heart is... Is just going ham. But here we go. Shades of what we saw in the last game, but we're going to get that anti-air. Good stuff there, Byron. Yeah, a little unfortunate in that spot there. Overextended just a hair and kind of wanted to uh, overextend to regain pressure. A little unfortunate, but still working out. I like the use of the failing punch now. Starting to use that a little more often and the, uh, the OD armor. Yeah. Yeah, I always got to check people sometimes with the failing. Okay, now in burnout. The man decided to actually go in despite uh, really having that win event, right? Now, okay, now we're gonna set all the way back. Now it's time to play. Take all this chip. So he's got a really, Baron. So he's got a really good life total though. So I don't think you really need to overextend here. That was really well played to not take too much damage coming out of that, considering that you spent your drive gauge so early. Exactly. But look at this, man. Going down in the wire, but about to approach level three. Next hit. And we know the damage. Can you get through this? Minefield. Oh, just get checked. Very brave to be able to go for the jab in that spot. I mean, Sophie went for the drive impact there, but I feel like drive impact in a spot like that is a little more pipe dreamy than it needs to be. You don't even have yeah. the life to really armor or anything in that spot, so you got to be a little more careful about what you choose if you're going to go for reversals in a place like that. Oh, no, 1,000%. 1,000%. All right, so looking one one apiece. Jump in. Good catch, and look at that damage. Oh, yo, here we go. Now we're playing the game. Time to half, guess. There's half your life bar. Yep. <laughs> okay, Barry, just slowly and surely try to recover the gauge back. But I love it. The short overhead. Trying to get this burnout. There it is. Thing here, just do your best to mitigate as much chip as possible. Don't overextend. And Hark gets the knockdown. Jump over comes through. Ooh. Wait a minute. And we're about to get that drive gauge back too. We are in the clear. Let's see. Car can make something happen here. Tries to be the aggressor. Oh man, the OD. Not gonna work. I, November 1st, man. I really like Hark's full screen game, and I think that they should stop teleporting forward as often. I think they've done agree. a good job of using it to mix, but they have mispositioned with it twice now and given rounds away. I, Hark's full screen game is working really, really well, though, and I really how, like how they're using fireballs. So I need to focus a little more on that. Yeah, I mean, we've seen the anti airs come through. Like, we've seen the fakes with the ghosts as well. Uh, just as I say, another anti air. It's really just being these teleports, right? You work so hard and then you give it all up. Oh man, we are running through this. Man. Oh, just the club. Oh my god, it's character. Corner time, man. Yeah. Cross up. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's just a little too close at that point. That's gonna make it two to one. But again, I really like Hark's control. I think that still, he still has plenty of momentum going into this. He still has the opportunity to push this game five. Wait, there he comes out. I'm gonna punch there. Slowly walking out good overhead. And now we're in the corner, man. Gotta play with it. Okay, OD Amnesia comes out. He gets a good amount of damage, and you get all that stage back. This. Again, this yeah. is where I think Hark is doing the best and is able to walk forward, sets up a departure, takes a step forward to get some of that real estate, but doesn't overcommit. Yeah, great play right there. This time around, we're seeing Hark, like you said, not going for a teleport so early. But you see a catch here from Sophie. Sophie now is in the corner. A peekaboo. Odi Amnesia coming out. Got to make this count here. Okay. Chip really starting to add up here. Sophie, we're going to look for the Phalanx here soon. OD Ghost yeah, goes into back. Burnout. I like that. But now your problem. You do. Oh, 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 no. You know that jump was coming. Oh, my God. Okay. the gate. Yo, yo, recess is here. Oh, oh no. my God. And then the punish counter on the throw. All that uh -oh. gauge gone on defense. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, looking for Odia Amnesia, for sure. <laughs> Man, but such play right here. So I'm just gonna close this out. What? Later. Oh my god. I don't know what happened in that last round, but Sophie Mariza. playing possessed. That felt like a different person. Love when even you're seeing these early games and people are already bringing out the adaptation, right? Really great awareness from Hark, you know, slowing down. I love the patience we saw because he really opened up and closed out those games. But here we go, man. This time, got the mirror. Okay, already at the start. Yep, did a good job being able to whiff punish. Close the distance a little bit. And Marisa, I feel like the weirdest thing about the mirror is that uh, this character's only real, like, tangible, bad weakness, I feel like, is that she's really particular about anti-airing certain things, and she has really good jump-in normals herself. Yeah. So whoever's able to get those good angles, get those good jump-ins, and kind of establish that kind of pressure first is going to have a huge advantage when it comes to just, like, getting ahead in momentum. Oh, yeah, thousand percent. Okay. A good cash there, get the command grab. And right now they're just squabbing, man. <laughs> no no jumps necessary. We're just we're throwing blows. Get a jump back. Good catch there, DI. Okay, another air to air trade. Just jump in does actually cause burnout in that spot. And now the armor to break through. And look at this, the round pretty much over at this point. Playing gotta be yeah. a little more careful, but uh oh. Oh okay. I was about to say, I'm like, but what if I just do it like this? It's like a... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like you said, man, round over. So yes now. Starting on the pressure early on, already in the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, good knowledge to be able to jump there, knowing that when you go in for that target combo, there's not a lot you can do that is a, a there's always some amount of gap. Yeah. Okay, charge out the trade combo, yeah. Okay, another one to zero here. Same with the block and start. All working out well. that it's gonna be a burnout already man and so close to the corner too oh going for the low follow-up definitely interesting one wf hey. going representing a lot of options you don't see very often i like True. that okay for parry right, get me out of that corner oh 
<laughs> and the ending sequence, just kind of a brawl, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're throwing blows, man. <laughs> All right, we cross up. is able to get him on the plus frames there. Easy counter hit to the wall, but not going to spend the bar. That's going to get the plus frames once again on the charge. All right, <laughs> that's command grab. So much damage. But look at that drive gauge, man. Oh, and there it is. You can start something up here. You're dead, CA. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> One little miscue is all it takes. The damage comes through. Well, you know, a little bit of love taken, but not quite dead, actually. But like you said, man, it's gonna be hard to get those anti-airs. It's only just uses that knowledge, it jumps out. CA <gasps> with chip! Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> WF ends up getting it in the end anyways, but that was a scary proposition. Potentially could have block string into the CA. I think people forget level threes do a ton of chip when you're in burnout. Oh, insane chip. All right, so one one apiece. Man, it's only just working. So you should have brought your jacket. You should have brought your jacket. What is, what is wrong with you? Oh my god, a little too cold out. Not able to handle it. Things getting messy. It's a cold world, man. It's a cold world. Okay. Ooh, trying to sneak in the low. That was a tricky little setup. It doesn't quite work out. Wow. <laughs> Peekaboo, nah. <laughs> Just the... You the face. Going here. What a freaking game, man. Dominant. And you know, I really like that Tillian. Like, uh, like I, I love when in a mirror match, you kind of show your normal and then you wait because just su slightly suggesting to your opponent to utilize that normal too, right? And then you go for the whip punish. Yeah, I feel like that is the, uh, the ultimate bait. <laughs> yep. Corner, want to overextend again, doesn't want to be too close, but no, oh. able to break through the armor easily with Gladius. Yeah, we won't work there. There we go. Yep, overhead. Wow, for the mix on the mix. Oh no, but no throw in yeah. bull, able to be able to stop it, very nice. Ever slow, the overhead, no. I see the sequence. Oh, we just sat there, went for that low follow up, and then took a step back, waiting for it from the opponent. Yeah. A good catch. That's good anti air. Really important getting that anti air there, right? Because look at the amount of drive gauge they lost. If they hadn't got the anti air, Killian would have gone for the pressure, potentially could have been in burnout, but they are pretty equal right now to the gauge. And now Tillian in burnout despite having the corner. Oh, it's the command throw comes through again. I feel like Mercer Camp with command throw feels like kind of a risk here. It's been uh, thrown around a willy nilly so far in this match. Yeah, all right. <laughs> It's funny because Tillian was using the same sequence, right? And he was a kick turn and he was a man grab, and then he's like, yep. The <laughs> WS like, you know what? I'm gonna do that one too. I like that one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Being corner here, it's definitely a huge issue. Yep, the plus frame to close that one out, man. Needy. Yeah, I mean, that's just Killian being able to follow up well. And that's just before.
Yeah. No, you're so right on that, man. Like, it's, it's so funny. Back in the day, man, you knew you were looking at pools like, did they know how to throw a fireball? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it was just a different time, right? But nowadays, you have the tech. I mean, obviously, you have a lot of great creators in the scene as well, yes. teaching people the ins and outs. But then you also just have tournaments at your fingertips, and that always helps when you have quality net code like we have for six. And so, dude, you, you can learn so quickly, man. If you're willing to put in the hours, put in the time, and just square up. Okay. Oh, the up kicks there. Does break out of the corner here. And a great jump back jab. Nice. Jump back normals, I feel like, have been a lost art recently, but we're, really? on, our, we're on our way back, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, back in the day, man, in, in four, man, <laughs> they jumped back. <laughs> Yo, we were out here, man. <laughs> the good days. Okay. Girl. Oh, missed out on an instant air dive kick. I think there was maybe trying to go for the OD one, but Raccoon, better of that. Okay. Makes sense. Good throw. And immediately, man, straight knuckle. Okay, and has CA, so actually potentially can kill on the next interaction here. Definitely can now if they want to spend it. Yeah, and a good spot here too. See? <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Six. And they just do it, yeah. Yeah, as soon as you see your opponent standing that close to you, especially when they're in burnout, burnout, yeah, easy yeah, just rip it out. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's like work. Ah, right, cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for playing. Okay. A nice little extension there from Raccoon, though. Look on the knockdown. Just the double dash. A good tech at the throw from Hyde, and gets to jump out of the corner. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We've seen it most of the time, right? Pop is going for like that instant to DP out. Not trying to be in the corner, but here we go. The throw loops. Let's play a game. Good tap. Oh, Shimmy. Not that one there. Trying to get the jab. It does get the jump out, but the anti air essentially with a crouching medium just catches her on landing. Yeah, right. man. Huge shout by the way, to Mustard Pie for the $10 direct contribution to the match arena. I also love Raccoon. Go. Good damage. Ooh, I like that. Okay, we kind of we dancing on him real quick. Little little stance, that stance. That's a, that's yep. a little cheap. Threaten the overhead. Yeah, too. I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right, sweet. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. Wake up OD, up kicks. Pretty easy way to be able to kind of fix all in that spot here. Not able to find the anti air though. A little more particular when it comes to that. Cami obviously having amazing jump almost. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. What's, what's the punish here? Okay. Let's have a look at the meaty fireball set up afterwards. Harassing yeah. with the standing mediums. Has the level three. Oh. Might just go for level two. No, absolutely. We doing this, man. Give me that press. Yes, the eat man. Oh, wow. It's one way to get on the board. Yeah, I feel like one thing we've seen a lot from Chun Li recently, especially uh, huge shots to shine for the, the performance at ECT. They spend level two the second they hit anyone, and they have it. Like every yeah. single time. It's just so worth it. The situation you get afterwards is amazing. The amount of damage it does to the drive gauge is amazing. It just feels like there's no reason not to. So I really want to see that from more Chun Li players. Oh, yeah, a thousand percent. And Chun is a character, too. A lot of people spoke of being like pretty damn good you just haven't seen you haven't seen more step into the limelight man but such an insane character in their own right yeah i feel like a lot of it just comes down to the characters uh pretty technical and yep, uh yep. i think a lot of people aren't interested in doing the kind of things that she excels at i think some people find uh like this like very high uh movement speed uh footsie style a little boring so i think that yeah. kind of turns people off from her but i think she's an amazing character oh thousand percent and it's interesting too to see because i feel like some of these characters that were like more footsie based oh man hold up wait a minute man just the quickness 
Hey, inconsiderate indeed, bro. He's not care. <laughs> hey, listen, you can't expect a raccoon to have a regard for human life. You <laughs> really out definitely, here? It definitely can't, man. And your home turf? That's crazy. <laughs> Go, oh, man. Game four. Oh, tied. Already getting a good start. Walks underneath the instant air legs, too. Very smart. Nice. Yep, good check. Yeah, I love this answer right here from Hyde. Step forward. Ooh. Was able to block the dive kick there at max distance, spin knuckle, and, and he's matching on the jab really, really often. I feel like mm -hmm. if your opponent's repping a lot of walk backwards there, you should either walk forward to take some space yourself or pick a more committal, longer range button. If you think they're going to shimmy you, I'd love to see crouching medium in spots like that. Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah, a lot, a lot of times, like, that jab is only going to do so much, right, in that space. And once they recognize that too, then they're going to catch you lacking for sure when you punish them or anything. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like this. Playing that level two. Very oh, smart. Yeah. Get the jumps and the follow ups. Ooh. Not going to get throw. Good tack there. Uh, oh, the check, man. And another B, man. It feels like Raccoon. When they're hot, they're hot. The things are getting yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Good. Interrupt there from Hyde to find the throw and get aggressive, and the trade comes through easily in Cammy's favor. I got the kicks. Okay. Oh, what do you dive kick? Yeah, they are playing right now. I love it. Great DP. You going low? Some damage. Some meter here. Did something happen. The insurance policy, but we're in a burnout now. Now I need to see the pressure. Oh. Next block ring potential kills. Yeah, 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 Wings yeah. up to level yeah, three, yeah, and it's yeah. easily gonna chip. Oh there my we go. god. It's just like we were talking about. Card games are Stuck expensive, here. man. They are. You should talk to your boy Charles, <laughs> man. Charles be wilding, man. He's spending his whole <laughs> income on that, man. Oh my god. Alright though, let's see it. Zack in the Box coming out. Zack in the Box can pretty consistently placed really well in the last couple TNS's. Yeah. See? Starting up. Good check. That's feeling each other out. Good jump in. Throw overhead. Throw. What you got? Run it back. And three. I like it. Oh. Parry, but still, a life total. Not looking great on this one. And is able to just drive rush in and take the throw. Yo. The run up throw is always OT. <laughs> Disrespectful. It's just like extra good for Ken also, just because mm -hmm. everything else he does out of Drive Rush that involves any kind of strike is yep. is so high priority that you feel like you just uh, blocking feels best a lot of the time. Yeah, but you just have to respect it, man. Speaking of, punch counter, uh, too much damage out of it, but still, man, maintaining this corner here. Yo, Ken Master is finally the DP. I'm just not, not finishing the plate. Yeah, that was just brawling things out, and that's not where you want to be. Damn, and then the step back standing Man. leg kick. That felt max that's light, distance. Yeah, that's the yo. <laughs> <laughs> And it's always been it's interesting to see how how dangerous that is, now. especially now. You know, once they made that initial change, right, on drive cancel, like it's just insane, right? Because now that just becomes such an easier tool to use. I mean, it's always been there, but you know, with those changes, it just made it that much better. And jeez, walk back max distance, standing like it, that's a wild. Okay, you're just staying medium kick us to check a couple drivers in a row. 
so far here, but stopping Bumano from being able to walk forward does finally get the hit on the counter hit and finds a knockdown for it. That out. Yeah, no meter required. Back heavy kick, so good for being able to cash out damage. Yeah. Cancel the grab. Oh, we have effect. It's tough. Yeah, the friction, yeah, the set up there. Okay, starting to get into those fireballs here, which usually is a good look. Cross cut DP to be able to stop it. Zack in the box, DP of their own to be able to break out. Catch. Still not complete anything though from the counter. Hit. Now we're pushing the corner. We're in the corner store. Fights back out. Yeah, we're going to close that one there. Absolutely. Straight into level three. Easy way to be able to finish it there. Even up the set count, too, which is very, very good. You love to see your opponent dying with that CA as well. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's a small mental victory. Yeah. The hardship, man. The hardship. Here we go. 1-1. One, one. And Luke is already off the bat once again. All right, side switch. Okay, got some fireballs there. What a whip punish with a sweep. Max distance. Yeah, I think I have a punch now. Find out. Throw some pocket sand in his face. Oh my god, and just like that, well, Dale Gribble tactics paying off. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's crazy. He's right. He didn't even flinch on that in the, that drive rush in the jab. Because most people would press a button at that point once they see that drive rush. You have punch twice in a row. Aggressive afterwards. And some of the pressure down with the Jinrai kick. Doesn't want to overextend here. And overextend they do. Zackenbox does find a knockdown and is able to get out of the corner for it. All right, here we go. Overhead. Good catch. You know what time it is, baby. That BBQ, man. It's time. And that is two games in a row that Zack in the Box has found that level three for the kill. Bumano has died with a full stick of butter. Even if it's just spending meter in little places, I would love to see a little bit more of that go somewhere into your confirm. Take some of that drive gauge. Or just crank a little more advantage out of these touches. Yeah, no, I agree, man. Like, you gotta throw it out. All right, counter DI. What you got? <laughs> yeah, I love that. Wow. Finally, oh man, yeah, he's gonna burn that. At least he's going to burn out on his own terms now and has the pressure. Potentially can get Bumano in the uh, burnout as well. The air to air is able to get the tech. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's one. Yeah, that's going to be that one. Jeez, that's a round one. Zach in a box. I feel like we might see the same movie again here. A great way to start for Zack in the Box. Not expecting to spend a bar on this one. Wants to save it a little bit. But the ODDP on the wake up. Sometimes you got to do it, man. Hit him with the super hot. Oh, man. That criminal button, bro. The jump in. <laughs> hey, side switch. Oh, but we're going to be in burnout here. It's going to be a very rough situation. Now, yeah, that's gonna be a wrap. Won't even need the level three. And once again, the CA just there being an eyewitness. Mm, 
and unfortunately, I'm gonna call this one a team kill. A little, a little unfortunate, but it's time for the Honda Mirror. Oh no, <laughs> it's time. Of course, you, you gotta have that on deck. If you're a Honda, you should know the pain. You gotta have the perfect parry. Can't let the headbutt happen for free. Find the throw twice in a row and throw a very strong option on wake up against Honda. Obviously, EX headbutt does, is not so invulnerable, so you are able to stop it even though it is armor. Yeah. Waiting for it. That's the corner. Damn. Sit down. Brutal with the trades, plus one, goes for jab, backs things off, and unfortunately, like two cheeks to the face, not too much to see there. <laughs> yep. Round out of the way. <laughs> not the way you want to go down. Okay, and you can see very consistently here, the second headbutt almost always wins. Mm -hmm. Slam there, Push him in the corner. Keep him there. Love it. There you go. Here we go. For the car. Butt slam. And try to chip him out, but just just in the nick of time gets that drive gauge back. But That's an opportunity. I was going to say capitalizing after knockdowns on headbutt is really difficult as Honda. Kind of resets neutral. You're dead? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, and he, he was waiting for it. He was waiting for it. Man. What a play. Oh, my God. And showing off one of my favorite combos in the whole game, which is just how many chops can you fit in one confirm? True. <laughs> the Benihana's, man. Just chop it up. Okay, just gonna get a regular parry on that. Another one. Good idea, head up to head about to just dictate the pace here. Head the button, bust stomp. Try to stop that attempt and jump back there. Oh, good catch. Oh, almost burns him out as well, but yeah, you can get the meat pressure to clap, man. Meaty clap there is so sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, with the level one, not willing to hold the pressure and is able to get the headbutt. Did receive the buff, but not gonna matter too much in this spot. Gosh, there. I'll wait for it. Ah, oh, just not gonna be able to time it on though. Level one, very. Oh, just built level one, but didn't have time to be able to actually spend it. He chops him out of the butt stomp. <laughs> that chop, man. so volatile. Yeah, it has a way better vertical hitbox than I think people give it credit for, because it is a uh, like a pretty decent horizontal poke for getting uh, like whiff punishes for punish counters, because it does uh, go get the crumple when you punish counter. So I think people forget that it does have a, uh, a pretty gnarly upward hitbox. Yeah. Finds himself in the corner. He gets crushed. Damage here. Pressure. Oh, yeah, not gonna get that parry, though. Flying good pressure with the hands, but jump back in the corner. So strong against Honda. And gets the reset with the OD Ocho. <laughs> That chomp, that punish counter on it is so hilarious, man. Okay. Great jump forward to be able to avoid. Reached up once again, finds an Ocho. Okay. Very. 
Okay, the back throw, here we go. Very, and as far as the characters go, similar game plan, different execution. We're both trying to get in there, though. Yeah. That was started off, man. Oh, man. That was a long distance to drive rush, man. Trying to run across the street. Out. Yep, can't do that. No B.I. here. Solaire's coming through with the sub. Thank you very much. 13 months. Appreciate you for being here for so long, man. Thank you. Uh, good damage here. Jump in. Go for a drive reversal. I like that little run there, too. Just trying to take up a bit more space, right? Oh, my God. The judo. Masters. Still okay though. Try to walk him down a little bit. Him. Feeling like oh, I was gonna say for the most part, felt like they were repping like more of a counter punching style. Right. <laughs> a little show of aggression there with the, the the axe handle, the double overhead. Yeah, I swore we're looking for whip punishment. <laughs> Not at all. I under I think few people underestimate how much you can jump scare you with that stance, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like Halloween is over, but the scares aren't done, dude. Oh, it's still spooky, man. <laughs> That's for sure. Very kind of maintain that corner. Oh man. Corner to corner. Definitely the right choice. If your opponent's gonna give you minus eight in a spot like that, you might as well make them pay for yep. it here. Now guessing for game. Yeah. And now look at this. We are in burnout in the corner. Are we in burnout too? Dang. All that's needed. Damn, second round in a row, we're able to find that axe handle. The overhead paying off in dividends. But we're able to stop the first phalanx there with standing medium. Great way to start. Fierce. And now we're in the corner once again. Yeah. Definitely throwing. Yeah, we're gonna cash out on this, man. Be a wrap. Perfection. Yeah, and I think one thing that high speed showed off really, really well in that spot is that if you're gonna press against Marisa, you might as well press it low. You see, as soon as they got into the first interaction where they were kind of face to face and chilling, it was immediately crouching medium kick with no hesitation. The hesitation yeah. is death against this character, and lows are significantly better than mids. But unfortunately, in a spot like that, not much to do against the D, uh, the DI. Yeah. All right, in burnout. I'm trying to start some offense here. I love this. Lee Warren's like, nope. I'm not going to let you buy time. I'm not going to let you get that drive gauge back fast. Good catch. Stay back in the corner. Time to play a game. Finds, finds the gap. It's out of the corner, and we'll have gauge now, too. Ooh, the armor there with the double jab, not enough to kill. Oh, Kenneth, perfect parry. Yeah. Look at that. We're going into that round three. Still having that level three on deck. We said it before and we can say it again. Just being able to corner anyone from anywhere at the, at the snap of your fingers can be such an important thing in this matchup. Oh, a thousand percent, man. Oh, and almost in burnout now. And in the corner here, just one more hit. Looking for it. Good parry. Still maintaining that corner. Oh, trying to go for the jump back, but the jumping yeah, fears from Lucas. Oh. This is a little too good. The counter, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luke and Ken, man. <laughs> that is ridiculous jump fears. See, 
has a pressure here, but understands it takes one hit. Ooh, okay, duffed. Gotta put in CA again. Some crouch medium in that spot on reversal, plus. Dark and normal, normal, and again. another one. Of course! Ooh, go back to the neck. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, I, I've been talking about how Marissa's command throw feels like a commitment a lot of time, but just the players that we've seen tonight kind of proving me wrong, just using it very liberally. Hey, man, they said put some respect. Oh, I love that with punish. Okay, he's gonna get that back throw in the corner. So much damage. Oh, no, this is Marissa, yeah. And level one, but it doesn't oh. matter on the step back. Bro, oh. and I mean, that's what you were talking about, right? Like, just no matter what, Marissa ends with damage. Like, you talk about all roads lead to Rome. Like, it's, we, we always stay with that damage on deck. That's what's happening here. And you got Spartacus in the background getting hyped. Oh, oh, was able no. to get the jump over and with the whiff. A huge chunk of damage to come. Oh, when dreams come true, don't get caught lacking. Oh, but another one to the back of the neck. Overhead. Oh, that jump fierce, man. That big saving grace here from Lady Boredom. Oh, please be careful throwing fireballs. We've seen it once before already today. Get the oh, jab. Get back. Yeah. Man. I mean, to be honest, man, it, it's almost in the names, man. Terrick can do some things, that's for sure. And it looks like you were absolutely right. We got the Sim in session. Man. I'm really excited to see him play. Yeah, see how he handles Luke. Uh, Luke, obviously, one of the main offenders currently in the game. People have a lot to say about him. But overall, uh, he just, I mean, the game is built around him, right? He is designed with the system mechanics in mind. True. He's a protagonist. Yeah, out. No. OD up fire oh. is so good for being able to set up potential teleports, whether it's for mix up or just for escaping. Yeah, man. Because they just they want to respect it. They know. For side of the coin, you, you go in, that could be so much damage. Hey, good answer here. Of course, it's plastic. Oh, we were talking about stay away. Put the heater on. Yeah, between back medium and back jab and spots like that, able to get so much mileage, even able to get the burnout in those ending situations here. But dive kick in the strike throw, looking strong. And look at the drive gauge already. Oh, I know. It is deleted, man. Back. Catch. Damn, my man I hopped over on Shiva stance just to come through. It couldn't be me, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Jeez, dude. And that was uh, another thing you saw in that one was uh, that level one from Dalsum. Dalsum, as far as level one and level two, I believe, has some of the highest uh, damage to be able to have outputted. Because his combos are so short, he's able to go just go straight into that super so early. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Good jump in. Yeah, I feel like Rabbit's just been so good at like checking nightmares, right? He's trying to find a way to go in, but a lot of these jump ins either he just, just collides with that fireball man, comes back down. But we're just seeing a really great anti air here from that. But finally he finds his mark, gets in the corner, throw him down. Oh, had him on the shimmy, but overextends, goes for the jump over, and now is cornered. Oh, oh. Gosh, no. Lucky it didn't matter that much there. Things got very messy. There we go. The low. <laughs> Mission mode five. Oh, my yes, God. Sir. I know, right? I've seen that one before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
going on. He's able to get the pokes afterwards here. And even after the drive rush, he's able to maintain that space. One more block normal will potentially do it for the drive gauge here. Yeah. Yeah. And for the jump, I love that. Lands on that yoga flame, and now you are in burnout. There we go. Yeah, he does it. The drill. Running smart. Good stuff. Going to round three. Oh, try to go for the huge reward ant here. There, missed times it. Unfortunately, now stuck in the pressure. But if you can get away, you can potentially burn out nightmares here. The cross up comes through, but I don't think you mind that as Nerath. All you need is one good back dash. Yeah, and he's free. Man, yeah, definitely. I don't think that was intention. But let's see, nightmare. Okay, get damage here. The wake up. And still in burnout, man. This is going to be hard. Very nice confirm. They will do apply pressure. Offering that level one is nightmares. You gotta know it's coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? I don't think it has invincibility though. I think yeah. they could have gone for a match. He just stood up. Stood up and did it. Game. Don't let him throw too many fireballs here. Keep something on the screen to keep him contested. Hey there, fireball. Tronics, man, is your description. We love it. Appreciate you as always. Thank you. 15 month streak, man. Sit down in the burnout. Yo, watch those legs, man. Good stuff. I'm going to go in and get that perfect. And then the perfect parry. Mid screen, just set up for the throw loop. I like that. I just love that yoga master. He just <laughs> it duffs you in the head and just slaps you silly. Under pressure. Man, working on another perfect here. Long perfect at that is able to use yeah. the OD, but the jab comes through very nice. The trade not in your favor. Awesome. Nightmare is trying to mash out of the situation. It does not work out in the end. There we go, going into game three. Fireball's up. Already getting that damage. It's up the meaty fireball. Investor. The drill. So it feels like Nareth is like now, now more willing to go for the, some of these teleport mix-ups, man. He's getting dividends, especially with the drills too. Okay, burned yourself out for the throw. You gotta make it count. Jump over comes through. But like you said, the drill again. Sim pressure. Just slap. Well, that meaty slide. Sim in the corner. Step back, finds himself a drill. Doesn't get a conversion off it, but now finds himself in the corner. He's still fighting back, does not care, man. Damn, that's a wrap. Damn. 
Holy washing machine, you are not the first person to say that today, and you will not be the last. <laughs> it's, you guys are killing me. Oh, man. Into the match, though. Like I said, shine. I can think step back here. Oh, and that is a heartbreaker to see. As Kim, you want to use that standing medium kick as much as possible so to get the, to get whip punished that hard off the rib. Man. 40 DP, too. All right, of course, the side switch, the tower combo. We got the pressure. Man. Found himself a, a fierce. We'll be okay. The god poke, man. Send medium kick. Oh my Check. God. That's round one, man. Hey. Was super preemptive with it too. I mean, yeah. I was uh, like in the very starting frames. That's just got. Uh, that's a good feel for the game there from Joe. True. And with the Sandy Beach. Okay. Spine Buster. Another one. This is Shine's home turf, man. You can't be beating up on him like this. Come on now. Do a slide. Double dash. He's using a DP. Doesn't want any of that mix. I mean, Kimberly obviously just being with those characters where, I mean, the corner is so strong in this game, period. But this character, my goodness. Okay. Combo, but we didn't yeah. reset anyways. And he's going to set up the bus here. So this is big for Shine. He's got uh, Joe guessing for game and has that guaranteed buff rolling. True. Oh, but he's got neither. Oh, just do it. I like it. That's how you feel, huh? You're guessing yeah. for game. We're waking up with yeah, the TP. Yeah. He's like, what up, man? <laughs> What's really good? All right, man. Round three, like you said, he's got that buff. So we got that walk speed even faster. And now you got that uh, proper damage, man. Of course, the roundhouse. I love the punish counter. And now we're in corner. The slide. We're setting up on the wall. What we got the mix up overhead. Good carry. Oh, didn't get the full charge though, so wasn't able to find the, oh, the wall bounce. Yeah. Missing out on a lot of damage there, and the shortens the jump with the elbow drop. Ooh, Sneaky. So clean, man. Into the level two. And now we're in the corner to step up. You'll get tossed. And now just a burnout. Joe spending a lot of resources right away to try and stay aggressive, Yo. shine, mm -hmm. content to chill. Nothing makes me happier than seeing players just chill in moments like that. Oh, I love it. It's like, <laughs> I, I, I won already, man. I, I ain't giving you anything. <laughs> you thought we were fighting? <laughs> Not anymore. I feel like especially when it's characters like Kimberly who are known for like all gas, no breaks. Knowing yep. the the art of knowing when to relax with this character is, uh, is kind of beautiful to witness. Oh, yeah, a thousand percent. Mindbuster, man, the double, man. <laughs> Run it right back. Okay, the run stop. Oh, good catch, man. He's been checking those drive rushes, especially in that range, man. That close me, uh, middle range, like, not working overhead, man. Easy catch. Yeah, and it's felt like every time it's been like that, like one character length range, Joe has just been like unbelievably dominant. Yep. Pro drop rushes in again, but the jab easily checks and goes for the target combo for the side swap. Ooh. What's up? Oh, I love it, man. All because of that freaking, that elbow. Now we're getting the set up. Okay. Came through again, goes for the drive rush, and again that little tiny step back. You know, maybe maybe the uh, the TNS account earlier was on to something. Maybe Luke crouching medium punch, that might be number one. Uh, it's it's like, <laughs> that move is ridiculous. <laughs> that should cost drive gauge. <laughs> My man is a menace. <laughs> Such a great button, man, for sure. Yeah, I did see somebody asking in the chat, by the way. This is uh, the first round of top 48. So we're technically in round two pools right now at the moment. Yeah, you're going to run away. That's a patch. I'm going to punish here. 
And one stop. Just slide. Set up shop. Yeah, it looks like he's like, I don't even want to give you an opportunity to set up. I'm going for ODDP every single time. Jabs, able to protect, crush medium. Not much else to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Pressure. OD and walk up, man. Good catch. I love that use of the Tatsu in that spot. It's uh, mm -hmm. not quite the beast that it once was, but I mean, for good reason. I don't think. Oh, yeah. She, does, she doesn't need it. She doesn't need it, for sure. Oh, yeah. The Crushing Spirits. You slide into the level three. I love that confirm. There we go. Buff is active. Yep. Go. And look at that drive gate. And in the corner, you do not want to deal with this. Uh huh. Just wait for it. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it too many times. Take that graffiti. Yeah, Joe has gone for that wake up so many times. Mr. Umi Rogan himself needs to Absolutely. slow it down a little bit on the reversals here. He's just giving away uh he's giving away too much of his own life bar uh, for those types of risks. True. There's only a matter of time, right? But I mean it's in the name, you know, you gotta go for it. Okay. Medium, but not gonna get him in. I'm Joe. Damage. Mm. Driving back afterwards, slide from max yeah. distance, not quite spaced enough, and not a counter hit, so wasn't able to get it confirmed. Still, this is the start of some offense here. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, we know coast to coast. Yeah, and now he knows he's on the way for it. And good catch. Yep, he's going to get an OD command grab and gets a setup here. Yeah, the classic. That is the classic. Simply special, man. That should be oh. our Rappy. Dude, switch it up. And is able to find a level three in the two that early on. So he's going to get to play the rest of the game with the buff rolling. This is huge for Shine. Oh, this is dreams come true when it comes to playing Kimberly, that's for sure. Step back. That movement, man, that walk speed is just crazy. Run stop, yeah, looking for, press a button. Get a punish counter, but he, Joe's gonna get a punish counter of his own and get the corner. Good perfect parry. So just closing the side switch. Oh, I love that. Yeah, incredible sneaky. Just using that drive rush to be able to teleport at just a perfect range here. Now harassing and is able to get the drive gauge out of him. So Joe yeah. in burnout and still getting pressured. Oh man, this is rough. And the long range, absolutely. You gotta respect that. And going up. That's gonna finish that round. In that wow. game, man, what a conversion there from time. A, uh, like a top 10 type of contender. I think that move is unbelievable. Yeah. Catch, going on round one. Nice little go low. We're out of the corner under pressure. Look at that drive gauge too, man, as he gets this damage. Oh yeah, look for anti-air, but just way too late. That's gonna award Noah. We are out of the corner. And now we're gonna check. So we stand by the plus frame. Oh, again, that's a back ball, working out wonders, but it's just what we were talking about. The perfect spacing for Blanca to be threatening is just exactly in that sweet spot range for Luke. A little beast mode to close the round. Well, why not? Round two. Fight. Right, he's both these guys looking for neutral jump. Yeah. Yeah. Ready. Ball to catch. Jump over. Ooh, is able to jump back with the medium there and get the scratch. Yeah, not gonna matter too much to Noah as he finds that clean hit again. Yeah, like 
we talked about, man. Some people are perfectly okay with this burnout. You can see it now. Pressure, man. And that jump fierce, man. One of the greatest atrocities, man, as it were. Finding its mark. I know he's going to get that one on the board. Oh, and he's able to find so many plus frames off the flash knuckle, just being able to go for that charge. Come on, the damage. To the wall. Oh, catch there. Corner. Yeah, yeah. Front deck. Good night there. Oh, oh but no. didn't collect. Yeah, oh. man, that's a rough one. And then after that, you're cornered, so you felt like you had to do something. Flash tries to take advantage to be able to get out. It does not work out. Oh, dude, and just started buffering at the perfect timing, too. Was so ready for it. This fireball game is looking amazing from Noah. Yeah, absolutely, man. And not even allowing him to activate Blanca Chan. Good check there. And Noah's just going to have to get fireball. All right, going to get the install. It just feels like Noah does so much stuff. Like that yeah. overhead was like mad random, but it just yeah. it hits perfectly and he gets advantage off of it. And it was it, so far too. Like it was actually crazy. <laughs> like it just, overhead. Like, it, <laughs> it never feels like he's not doing he's always doing something. And it just yeah. it just all seems to hit. Yeah, it's very active, man. Thanks. Like Pine Buster. Corner already. A conundrum, bro. Yep. Okay. The opportunity to get the side switch. Oh, try to set up for something tricky. Easily yeah. dashes out of it. Flash trying to play some games, man. But Noah said not today. And have you just jump around for free. Here's Luke. I feel like Flash is at this point maybe go for throw a little more often. Noah has just been content with blocking out everything here. Oh, okay, here we go. Get some good set up here. Yep, another one mix up. Uh oh. Dude, the up back there working out beautifully. Poke with medium, is able to find the heavy ball for the hit. But taps the parry again, looking for something. And Noah just holds up forward. Snaps him out of the jump. It's gonna spine buster. Another one. See Flash can make something happen here. And Noah and Burnout, but again, he's, he's okay with it. And has the meter on deck just in case. Oh, this time the strike though, fake out works, but drops the combo, misses out on a ton of damage there. Oh, and then tries man. for the DI, but he's already jumping. Oh. Yes. So if you're playing any of these games, you're interested, you can do exclamation mark discord in the channel to be able to pull yourself up and uh, check some of these games out for yourself. The tournaments are going to continue to be free and they're going to continue to be run. I mean, as long as somebody in TNS is here and uh, willing, uh, these tournaments will continue to go. Yes, sir. Oh, well, Frank's an opportunity. I'm going to carry on that. There. Oh, good check there. Go, Kevin. Make sure not to get anything started. Okay. 
fireball to break yeah. the effect. The fake fireball yeah. working wonders for Frank so far. He's gonna get pressure there. Here we go, the step back. I love it. We shame will punish. is kind of no. nutty with the corner pressure, no, bro. Oh, yeah, no, that, that is <laughs> tight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole sequence was just so hard to deal with there. I like what I'm seeing from Franks already. No, that was clean. Very. Oh, gotcha. You already know, man. Step on your face. Oh, this is, yeah, it's going to be set up. Oh. Be able to convert from that, but still in the driver's seat right now. Franks, you feel Kevin can fight the way out. Yeah, just the conditioning and the mess we'll be seeing from Franks, so with that, the fireballs. Finally, it's still Kevin's turn. Good for him as well. Use the fake Sobot, almost like a jump out of a normal. Yeah. But unfortunately, mispositioned and is going to lose the round for it. Good stuff, Kevin. Okay. Over, easy trade out, gets the throw. There you go, slow. The green once again in the overhead. The good damage. Pulls out of course. Perfect timing. Man, not gonna kill, but obviously perfect position. No overhead for you though. Standing medium just walks just close enough to be able to be in that threat territory and to be able to stop things from going potentially awry. Good positioning there for Kevin. Good pressure here. Flusher gets a good jump in finally. Only gets the timing on these fake fireballs. Okay, good setup. Still staying memes in a row and is able to press up there off the target combo. Down and what a whiff punish again from Kevin. Man, and despite all the kind of pressure we saw from Franks, man, just Kevin's making it happen. Alright, get there. Good okay, corner damage. For me, me. Mm, and again, what a trade. Because that one out easy level one. Damn tool, Kevin. He does it again. What a way to be able to just I don't know, take advantage and keep yourself super solid. Yeah, it, it's just insane how quickly he, he like picked up on these timings here from Frank. I mean, we saw all the mix-ups in the world, man, going into that round one and felt like it was just just too much, but yeah, Kevin you know, started to get the timing, started checking a lot of these uh, fake air slashes, you know, and these drive rushes. Got him in the corner and just went to work. Already right now in the corner. Rushing to a Russian medium. Spine Buster. Dang. Just another day in the office. <laughs> Honestly and truly, I mean, that is just how quick things can get off the rails and how consistent Kevin can be after that really impressive first round of corner pressure. Yeah. Kevin has just never felt himself under duress pretty much since then. Yeah, he's like, hasn't dealt with that at all. 
And now he's just playing the entire game. Okay, perfect parry. Self a back throw, has an opportunity here on the side. Overhead. Man. I'm not gonna let him drive rusher free. Definitely good look there. Gets the whip punish, but then chills. Okay. Love that. Odier slasher. Already sign boss, rather. Hey, man. You, you gotta respect the same. <laughs> Sand beats air. You need thread for people who are just learning or just you know getting on their world warrior journey to come through and watch some good games and play some good games so let's get into it man top 48 winners on my we got complex okay start mike did a great job pressing to the corner here winning out on the trade complex tech throw Ain't working out so far here They're using that just cool trying to look for the step back yes, sir. Okay. Stand. oh <laughs> Man, go back to the crab. That'd be an ODDP. Get me out of here. Mm. Ooh, Looking for the overhead. Yeah. Oh, perfectly in the step back to get the whip punish on the throw attempt. The shimmy paying off, dude. Luke, one of the biggest benefactors of that huge counter hit because that standing fear is so damn good. True. In there, yes, yeah, so we'll take that damage and the carry. It's a setup. All right, let's go for real up kick. I love it. OD runs up, gets a grab. The step back just cool, man. And we're talking about damage here. Man, <laughs> yo, DJ, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Jump in on that sand blast. And we're gonna get some carry. Oh, and again, trying to look just cool for the uh, for a little bit of finesse. Mike just jumps out of it. And again, in that situation, tries to use it on offense and just up forwards into it. <laughs> Mike with a, a great timing on jumps. Yeah, oh man. Mike is in a very good spot. You see that four and a half bars. Yeah, he's gonna spend this. He's like, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for giving this to me. I mean, we talked about it. Forget Halloween, man. Merry Christmas. We'll take that any day of the week. And I went to a store recently, and they already have. Can you believe how fast they, they already have Christmas stuff up? Oh, I, I guess over. You already know, man. It's November first, man. Mariah's out out of the ice. She's ready to go. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> oh my god. Back aggressive, finds a throw. These little trades back and forth. That delay on the jab. Complex gets caught pushing something. Hey. Throw. Got shot. You already know it, the Usain Bolt. Got enter. Oh, that jump in. Grab this area on the one. You got the battle, battle burnout. You already know. So you got a chip. Mm, fake fireball, tap the parry. I don't get anything for it. Mike, not looking too phased by any of the attempts at feints. Mm -hmm. I do like now that you're seeing a bit more activity from Complex, man. Where you get this damage. Oh, absolutely, man. We got the tuned on deck. Man. One, two, three. That's all it took. I, I do love um, what we saw there from Complex, though, right? Like you talked about earlier that uh, you doing a lot of the feints. Mike started recognizing it, but immediately Complex saw that, okay, I need to start pressing more buttons. I need to be a bit more active here. So he feels, you know, 
solid pressure, legitimate pressure. Oh my god. Okay, we're able to stay awake though, and barely okay. the most pixel of pixels to live that. Free. Alright, what do we do here? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, when is the Sam coming? Good check. Out the gate. Okay. Got back that there, knowing that that standing mix up was going to come afterwards here. Very plus yeah. in that situation. But Mike, again, bro, he just holds up forward out of the. He is not worried about pressure at all. He's jumping out of everything. Yeah, no, absolute confidence, man. How many times do you get to jump out of the front three? Jeez. We won, man. Mike is playing. Mike definitely putting in overtime, man. Not falling for any of these fake fireballs right now. Finally, first real cash out we've gotten to see off of just cool and then TP's the following mix up. He said not at all. Oh man. Airborne, unfortunately. Now in burnout. I'm gonna put on this pressure. Okay, get back in there. Oh, oh, come on, bro. Mike. You know what? <laughs> I, 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 I understand. Oh, Mike. He, 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 he kind of hit him with a little, when he, when he finished him off with the jabs the other day, across the jabs the other day. You, know, you got you to pay it back in dividends. You know what I mean? Okay, up there. Hopefully he didn't wake up the beast here. The yeah. complex deals with the follow-up. Good blocking the cross-up. Yo, smacked out of the sky. Get jumped on. Okay, he's just that up as well. Yeah. The distance is really good. Burns himself out. And there is the super to beat the DI. Of Mike course. with a great reaction. Wow. The classic get caught lacking, man. You always got to respect that when Luke has that level three on deck. It is always a bait. <laughs> Mike, oh my God. We're listening. <laughs> oh, God. On to All the right. next one, though. Another top eight winner side qualifier. Brian D racing off against Noah the Prodigy. Up. Up. Okay, able to catch out here. It's gonna get some level one guaranteed block boom in this situation. It wakes up yeah. perfect parry instead. Bones. Jesus. Being able to have time for the flash kick in a spot like that is ridiculous. It's Ice Lantern, by the way. Thank you very much for coming through with the Prime. Appreciate you for the support. Thank you, as always. Correction. I get pressure there, of course. Maybe press some buttons after that. Oh, damn, round two. Run it right back. Oh, you're just dead for it, too, with the level one. Great cash out. Noah, looking good. What a way to bounce back. Oh, a thousand percent, man. And now you got that, you know, almost at level two. You know, you know level three here when it's needed, provided you stick around long enough so you can be in a good spot. Man, look at this big hitting the face here. Now it's just like that. You know what time it is, baby. 
Ooh, maybe not. Just huh? resets instead. Oh. Says, you know, I'm saving the meter for next game. It's fine. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's extra frugal today. I like yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck. All right, man. Get into it. Game two. Mmm, got fierce. No fly zone, easy peasy for Gal. Yeah. Jab, step back, plus on that. Tries to walk backwards afterwards, but an easy crash medium build stop it. Combo. Oh, Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is the plan. Able to set up for the stun in that spot is such a big deal. And that's with Noah off the back of a really, really good combo choice to combo into DI later into the confirm for the hard knockdown and yep. to be able to get the burnout. True. And that's actually one of my favorite things to see in this game when people make those kind of decisions right on that meter and then really close up the round that way, especially when you have limited resources. D. Respect the knee. God. When is respect too much respect? The perfect oh, boom there is able to set up for the loop. Dude, I love Guile. I don't care. <laughs> That's so <laughs> sick. <laughs> what an opener. I almost balanced out on the dig. Catch there from Noah. Let's start up. And so we're sure in that corner. Looking low. Drag gauge is out. Oh man, what a good check. This is act this is huge, man. Because he's gonna get this back in time and it's a CA. He has one meter, he's on the Pessimist, I mean, burnout and does not have any super meter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man. Talk about economics there. Tempted, tries to tap the parry afterwards. Back heavy punch counter hit from max distance. You don't see that long range very often. Not at all. Fierce. Yeah. And burnout, but has a decent amount of life lead here. In the distance, he has to respect this. Corner. How much can we do here? The young dial. Just enough. Noah still sitting pretty when it comes to game counts, but. Oh, and being able to find jump ins like that is gonna make things even messier. Yeah. Flash kick him, man. Just wake up, get himself fun and counter. Oh, this is good damage. And that's one. You do it here. Damn, but still in the corner, man. Yeah. Wow. Dude, the the uh, the buffer, the, the the crouches are enough to make yep. anybody feel like they need to go for something there. Yeah, man, he, he's catching out on that that condition, right? Just so much pressure. Up to him. He's gonna crack. Catch, yeah, burn that out. Yeah, 
most importantly, getting so much meter of his own back here. So he's going to be able to exactly. apply so much pressure here, dude. Yeah, he can do what he wants now. Absolutely, especially with this aggression and about to win right now. Actually, love that OD. So Sash trying to find a, a hit, though. Good as ground. But provided he can get out of the corner, he can actually could be in a good spot here. And has a CA on deck. And the corners are not able to initiate the full yeah. thing, but there we go. Off the flash kick, Brian D is on the board. Dang, man. And that all is because of that stellar defense he played on the right. You're right? Like he was able to preserve. That sliver of meter, Noah got a little bit eager, burnt his own, and that's really what opened up the offense there for Brian. Yeah, 100% agree. Defense definitely wins championships in this game for sure. Yes, sir. That's another important thing to remember too, along the exact same lines, just to kind of pair it, is you have to remember, it feels terrible to be oppressed like that. You're not getting chipped. Like you're actually not closer to death. You can still be yeah. fine. Right. Oh my God. But again, the step back. Okay, this time Noah gets what he wants, man. Yeah, that's gonna be a wrap for round one. Man, get ran over. Yeah, he is just a, a standing fierce and a drive impact machine. <laughs> yeah. Dude. No, and Kyle tries to he tries to crouching fierce that, and Luke's jumping normal beats the crouching fierce. There, that move is an atrocity, bro. It's a war crime, dude. It's definitely a war crime. You talking about crouching moving punch, man? <laughs> you got a couple of those, man. Get in here in that spot. <laughs> a little tricky, doesn't work out, but still, I like the idea. And unfortunately, there for Noah. Cash out, it should be just enough. No, the CA goes away because it actually wasn't great health. So he's yeah. gonna live this with just barely any life left. Yep. Yeah. I love that sequence. I think Noah was just worried that he would actually get tripped out in this circumstance. For that DR. Bro, no tar combo, some damage. No, just being active here. The drive reversal, set up space, but man, that jump in. That's that's your life right there. Dude, Noah the Prodigy, as always, just living up to the name, dude. What a way to be able to close it and what a way to stay aggressive. I feel like it can be so hard to stick to your guns, specifically against characters like Guile, who are so good at being able to counteract and counterpunch and slots like that. Ship with him, bro. It's the time skip. It's literally, uh, it's I perfect. Like I like that. I like that. That's clean. Cool. <laughs> Damn, it looked oh, like Ken and Rashida proved, man. They were, they were all smiles. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, man. So one of the scariest Rashids in the business, JB, obviously placing very, very well consistently. A Mike, who, uh... I don't know. So far, everything I've seen from Mike, I've definitely really liked. He's had a very aggressive play style, and it's worked out beautifully. As you can see here, already kind of bullying JB to the corner. Yeah. Ooh. Or in that burnout. There's that pressure. He's going to jump out. I'll try to get to Tatsu. Here we go. The turbulent win. Not going to make anything happen, though. Hey, you want the win, man. Can't put out the fire, bro. Can master the building. A one on the board. Yes, sir. Okay, crash with Jinrai, finds the throw afterwards. That back is off a little bit, maybe a little too far here, giving JB some room yeah. to work. Send it. We'll be in burnout. Good check. Okay, classic. Let's set it up. Go here. Yep. Got to deal with that going low. And now the setup. 
Oh, good that's pressure just, there by JV. That's just one of the reasons why that's one of the best level twos in the game. Even being able to get that perfect carry and find the connection, a trade is just not good enough to stave off the uh, the incoming wins. Exactly. Man. Let's go grab. You get punished. Great side switch. Of course, look at that lovely gauge. One hit away. Fireball, yeah. Oh, what he tosses it doesn't get much done, but still is able to find the connection. Yeah, that's going to be a wrap there, man. Just Eyes on the prize there from Mike. But even with that victory here, things are not getting much easier for him. Let's find the parry. And the step back. That was very sneaky on the back dash. Wow. More than the meaty DI, man. Look at the crush. So clean. Yeah, looking for him to go for a wall jump again. But he's going to pick that out. Great ODDP, though. Get out of here. So get back in the corner. I need to play. Okay, this time it goes high. That fierce. <laughs> that fierce. That momentum built up, and there just really was no coming back from it. Yeah, Ken and Luke went, from the, went to the same school, man. I jumped fierce. <laughs> Good. Good job for the punch counter. Good to be able to check the gin rise. There's the throw. Yeah. Standing fierce, meaty. Oh, God. Punch in the gut. Nothing else. <laughs> Make him hold it. And just because. Why not? Step kick. Up the air there. Get the good throw. And oh, we're getting blocked. Yeah, we pressure that. We got the green, baby. Mm, not a kill, though, but still is able yeah. to get close enough for the throw afterwards. No reversal attempt from JB there. Just has to hold it. Two super quick games for Mike. Jeez. Yeah, and he is. He's being active. He's spending that green. I mean, I know Ken lost a lot of his money, but he don't care regardless, man. He bought those bank rolls. Ain't gonna happen again. Good catch. Overhead. Good block there with JV. Gets a perfect parry. Finally gets out of this corner. Damn, gets the length. Max distance. Very nice. Overhead at the right timing there. Very strong, meaty, safe, and solid. Yep. Be risk as, as risk adverse as possible against Ken, obviously. You want to get your head kicked off. True, man. Take the side switch, right? Your corner can become my corner. That's big from JB. Being able to kind of regulate the tempo a little bit. Mike has just been... <laughs> even on the rounds where JB has looked good, it has still been JB responding to Mike's tempo. So that was the first round we really saw where, like, JB felt like he was in the driver's seat. We're getting to see again here. Yeah. No, 1,000%, man. 1,000%, right? Like, it, we finally saw JB, like, actually, you know, ironically weather the storm. And then now he's now he's getting his... I mean, look, look at that mix. Yo, no Betty Crocker's, bro. We are in there. The damage? Bro, what? <laughs> Even perfect parry? Okay. Ten masters. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, wait, for the super. Yeah, it okay, is actually okay. going to come back. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, can it? Dude, first reversal from JB in that kind of realm, too. I like that. Making it work out and being able to take the round for it. True. Oh, and now once again, we are in the corner. Like it. Everything wants to keep him there. Mike wants out. Good level one. Russell's in though. Problematic here. Yeah, the 
good jump right there, my recognizing, right? That that is one thing that will be rough for Rashid, right? Get an anti-air there, especially dealing with uh, a button such as like a jump fierce from Ken, right? I'm gonna beat that out. Walks up against the jab. Not enough to kill, and there we go. JB with the check, is able to go for the super. It feels like JB, when he's able to drive rush and be the one initiating, is doing an amazing job. But every time there is a, uh, he's like a, whether it's a coincidence or just odd timing where they both end up going for very aggressive options, Mike is just so consistently winning them out. But JB, yep. whether it's a, like upping the unpredictability or, oh, Mike's going to switch back. Really? Hmm. He said, what up? <laughs> Hit him with the, <laughs> you see your boy cross the room, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, I don't care about your little fairy. Gosh. It's a coast. Jump over. Okay. Mixer. Use the dry rush. Tries to go for the throw. Oh, is a man. little too yeah. far. Get it. Now it's Mike's turn. Doesn't have much to work with on the drive gauge side, but still, that'll be front buttons here for move. JB, though, gets it out, and the level two is out. Weird. Jeez, this might be a wrap. Wow. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. Yo. You, you <laughs> you, committed oh, to the bit. Uh, <laughs> oh my uh, god. Uh, uh, uh. Dang. Any wins for it? Yo. Yo, Mike said <laughs> not at all. Cheers. Take care of that. I'm really liking these jump ins. Mike, at least really recognizing that's always going to be a a hardship for Rashid. Oh yeah, we got mixes. Corner. We got meter. We got meter. Oh, jumps out and actually doesn't get punished for it, and finds the drive reversal. And gets to keep that Superman. So good stuff here for JB. We're in the final round, we'll have at least level two, and definitely going to be able to build up to level three. Okay, in the corner. Okay, how much mixing you got? Oh, the perfect carry. Maybe not enough mix. Here we go. Yep, to maintain the pressure. Oh, oh my God! No. We're head to the other side. It's gonna be Noah and Dual Kevin. It's gonna be the ones to uh, go to bat now. All right, joiners, come Another one right back for good measure. And of course, that fears. Mm. Okay. Wow, Noah is so aggressive trying to steal turns with the uh, the charged heavy light. He just like yeah. he just rips it in the most random places. Again, I feel like he's always doing something, but it just always seems to hit. Yep. He's a very active player, man. He's about the buttons, that's for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> what an opener. Step back here. Could be a burnout, though, but. Be okay with it. Mm. Okay. 
Combo. Support. That Japanese card combo is definitely a big deal, but it feels like while Noah's getting more hits, Kevin's just getting way more mileage per touch. He's just yeah. finding a more meaningful interactions, it feels like. True. But, I mean, Noah was able to get back that meter now. An advantage there. And burn this out, absolutely. And you know what time it is. Back your bags, baby. Headed up to the Smoky Mountains. Finish him off. Her. Oh, the mesquite. <laughs> Solid stuff there, man. Oh my god. Oh, no, the pot is up. 1 0. Prepare to stop there. Okay. Kevin, he says, keep throwing them. <laughs> oh my god. He gets the crutch medium, a little too far. Oh my god. And then he's just able to rip the DI to be able to go for the stop there. It doesn't let anything come through. That's too good. Chase is a set up to throw. Let's carry this one here. And I love that, man. Like you said, man, stealing these turns, making sure you can get all that drive gauge back in the front. Another spine buster. My God, <laughs> my man Luke, huh? <laughs> God, <laughs> fireball worked yeah, out. Oh, three, eight, oh, oh, the slow motion. <laughs> Jesus, bro, that felt like a that felt like a Tekken clash moment. Oh, free. That was so good. He's like, dude, come on, man. I'm I'm paying attention. Luke. <laughs> what a call up. Drive rush there after the standing medium. Oh, okay. Got extra damage. Cash out potentially on the next touch, crush medium, and delays a lot after the cute after the drive rush. Yeah. Man. The perfection. Chat, just so you guys don't think that you're crazy. It is definitely in slow motion for us as well. As well. You are not. I promise you, it is a it is a, visually you're okay. This is just how it looks right now. Yeah, do not be confused. <laughs> I don't want y'all to be like, bro, what is happening to me? Yeah, yo, time is suspended. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah, you can see the frames, man. The level two already with the slowdown. Let's add a little bit. Oh, bro, the slow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me add a little. Let me add every, a little. <laughs> every frame. Yo, to every single frame. Okay, get the ODDP. Looks for the overhead. Very plus on there. Ooh. Gonna jump in. Yeah, great DP. I like that slight hesitation. Then throws out that crouch. <laughs> so in the chat said, if the game always looked like this, I'd probably be able to hit confirm. True, bro. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Go. Have to cash out the meter. Get the extra damage. Sure. Extra damage to the drive gauge. Really good situation. Opportunity here. As long as we can continue to pressure, but we get the perfect carry. 
<laughs> oh man. We're fine. I don't set up too. They just keep running it back at each other. Sand blast slowly in the corner. Gets the drive reversal though. He does not want to deal with that free pressure. Just buffering that CA, you can yep, see. Yep. Oh my god, Man. but from that distance it's not a true block string and Kevin blows it up with a DP. Such good awareness there by Kevin. Now we're gonna go into game four. The DP. Some stuff will throw. Good pressure there. Sandblast gonna walk back. See what Noah's gonna do next. God, man, you know, a little bit more up tempo play, a little more up tempo on the frame rate. Things looking good so far. There's the DP again for Kevin. Not willing to hold it. Sees the green stuff and immediately flies away. Yeah. I mean, DJ versus Kimberly. Definitely gonna be a tough one for sure here. I feel like DJ has really good normals for being able to put Kim kind of in her place sometimes, but yeah. Shine is just an overly patient player and i mean that like in the most positive way possible like he is just like such a good counter puncher so patient compared to a lot of the other successful kimberly's you see yeah i mean and that's like where you get value right like you talked about before like when you are playing these characters who are high octane and sometimes it's just like you can turn it off and just go with the flow but he has all the mix-ups he has that strength there but he also knows how to kind of sit back right and when you have someone who's a great counter puncher that allows them to be a bit more aggressive as well i like this though wait for the super not gonna let that thing go good amount of damage off of it too yeah are we running ah not today get back Round two. Fight. Left hook to medium. Good pass, great jump in. He did some good damage here and a slide. Yeah, not gonna choose to burn any spraying cans just yet. Okay. Let's go. Overhead, detach. All the burn, yeah, absolutely. That overhead is so damn cheap being able to convert in spots like that. Oh, it's so good. I love that road. Ooh, tries again a little too far that time though. Yeah. Okay, so the problem. Yep, standing. I actually love the standing reset there, and now we're gonna slow this one out. Complex moving forward, and that is one of the, you know, the hardships of Kimberly, right? Because you're not gonna have that reversal, um, and not have that many great tools in burnout. Dude. I love it. Complex descent from blood in the water and just moving forward. Here we're gonna go into game number two. Already in the corner. Good for very yeah, find that yeah. counter. Combo. Really smart to just go for the target combo. Obviously not gonna get very much damage off the perfect parry. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that links into up kicks. I love oh. that. And the damage off that, like Actually didn't know. That was kinda sick. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay, this again. Oh, kind of a weird situation there from Shine to go for yeah. nothing after that. Yeah, it's kind of like Saul. Complex will take it, man. Good damage already. See if you get another side switch here. Good catch there on the drive rush. Hey, you know what I noticed game one after uh, DJ won is that even when he's in this costume, he's not wearing headphones in his win positioning when he like does his thing, uh, he reaches up and touches his headphones. If I saw that, y'all have to see that now. Yeah. I'm ruining the immersion for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> if I, if I got to live with that, all of y'all got to live with that. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> got the there. overhead. Over, the overhead. <laughs> 
booty up kick. Girl. Oh man, you know, the DR is standing that medium. Yeah, OD up kicks there, but gonna burn all that meter. Definitely a good spot here. Fine. Just gonna poke and prod there. A standing medium kick. Oh, that little fake put it in a very weird spot and is able to get the frame trap, dude. Fine. Just stays barely. On, stays on top of it. Catch, which brings him back down. He's gonna go for the overhead. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be a teleport. He needs to the combo here, and you get the setup there, too. Oh, I love that. It's a classic. Oh, but does not get the, the air command grab afterwards, man. So unfortunate. Could have closed that out. Oh. He's able to block, but there's the up kicks again. Ooh, slide working out. Was able to maintain charge during it. Yeah. Damn, man. And oh no, with the level three gone too, but you're at least gonna get that buff, but still, man, such an unfortunate sequence. All because of the drop on the air command grab. Oh, good way to start here, just for the OD, just cool follow up, shine blocks everything. And possess low key, but there's okay. Good stop to the jump. Yep. Plus, good way to build and stop that momentum. Yep. I love that. Run stop and back throw. Oh, you know it's time, man. All the blows in the world. Hey, my man said, wake up. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Jesus, dude. And there he goes. He's able to finish it. Very nice stuff. We are here and we are ready to go. So there's going to be Flash Metroid who is able to take it and set themselves up to face off against Zack in a box here. So, oh. let's see how it goes between the two. Luke versus Blanca. Dude, we are. This is a, a Tennessee, Tennessee themed event tonight with the Lukes, bro. They've been coming through. Oh, yes, sir. Where you go? Oh, right in the corner pressure yeah those lights out perfect carry on the ball mm. he pretty easily able to answer there after jumping the corner yeah. perfect parry oh, oh and this yeah. time yeah this time gets the punish counter it's a setup man that fierce so over here Oh, it looked like he thought he knew it was going to come there, but yeah. I'm ready for it. You can know, and it's still that, it's that, it's that good, right? It's, it's that good. That, that OD air ball is insane. But Zack in a box finds a way to uh, get that first round. Ooh, but, perfect, perfect spacing on the slide, too, to be able to get that punish counter and have maximum frame advantage. Down, down, kind of dummy, man. Oh, dude, on the whiff punish here. Double look at that extra bit of damage. Go for the hop forward. And these oh. trades heavily in Flash's favor. See. Oh, the air ball, of course. A roll out. Oh, yeah, that green, that good, that gushy stuff, man. Closing it out. That's all that's needed. Oh, good commitment to the standing fierce there rather than the crouching medium. Didn't want to get caught up in the whiff punish attempt there from Flash. A good side switch with a third of the life bar coming off. Elevator, man. Now in burnout. Almost got full green. Oh, yeah, we are pressuring. Absolutely. A one, two. Dude, and it's just so unbelievably plus on back medium kick, especially in burnout. That is such yeah. a nightmare scenario to have to block. Yeah, 
Fall there, close the distance, finds the throw. Back the box. Opportunity here to get something started. Mm. Okay, got the tag. Got the throw. Kills a little bit. Like two available for both players. Flash should be able to kill off of this yeah. one. Oh, absolutely. Flash has been playing so well. Lately. He's been so patient, too. I feel like once he showed that slide, in, like, in terms of just dealing with Sandblast, since then, he's just been walking back and forth, and Jack in the Box has been really been expecting it. Mm, slide is perfect facing again. Yeah. So go. He makes Blanca feel pretty fast, too. Like, his walking, like the way that he walks back, walks forward, and the way he sets up for things, definitely so tricky, and that's going to be a kill easily. Doesn't even have to fall down on the doll. Nope. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, really, really phenomenal play in that mid range. Looks really patient. Walk back and forth. You know, timing those slides. Here's to gonna say it on those slides in the building. Steady. Yep. Waddle things down, does get the poke, and then we get the counter hit afterwards. Good life lead start. Yeah, good DP. Okay. Find his way. Pressure. Oh, yeah. Well, that's gonna be gone. But, you know, we're gonna get the crush here has an opportunity. Ooh, okay. Sorry, not too big of a deal here. Does the trade with the fireball. Well, and no! Of all the things you don't want to trade with, Drive yep. Impact is pretty damn high on the list. Hey, so why not? Dude. Alrighty, man. Slides work. Okay, but corner time. Zack in the box. There we go. Good catch. Yeah, was patient this time around. We've, we've seen a couple times that immediately after, even if it's not. Like even like immediately after that sandblast, he's been going for a slide too. So it's up for Zach to recognize that. That habit. Get a punish accordingly. We're going around three. Take a trade. Trade opportunity. Officer turns into a knockdown there with the slide. Through is able to get aggressive. Spends the level two. So going to try and. Cement things here while he can. He's done a really good job of baiting out parries by only going for one ball in spots like that. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He's going up. Yes, sir. Look at that damage, bro. And you got to deal with that. Burn out the jump through. Peace. It feels like the like, default layer one for him is do you know how to deal with this hop through? <laughs> Oh, God. We got him, though. It's time to get into the match yeah. here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Complex and Noah. Oh, no, with the big jump in already with that jumping fierce. Very nice start. Of course. Another one. <laughs> Bless your head. All right, same as that. Bad. Oh, I love that. Side switch. Perfect carry, though. Try to burn that meter from complex to complex. In a rough situation here. Okay. Ooh. Big fireball. Oh my oh, god! Man. What a throw! <laughs> man. 
ready for awareness. And again, that jumping fierce on this mark. Man, it just walked over. He already knew what time it was. Let me get this free life here. Oh, no. Thank you, sir. Thanks for playing. And being able to close being able to close the distance and get the punish on that. I feel like those up kicks go unpunished so often because people aren't confident, but that looks so practiced from Noah. Mm hmm That was a day in the park for him. First knockdown of the game he DPs too. Yeah. All right, Tompa says the corner. Great here there from Noah. Another one, man. Don't test me. Damn, Ooh. don't test me. Oh. The chat there, the punish counter. Man, Noah is playing. Get this pair here from Complex. The opportunity. Puts up the mix up. Good damage. Man. Great in the answer fireball and able to get the air to air here nice tech on the throw and even after that good jump with the note with a good discipline from complex to not press as he lands still doesn't quite work out and that is an amazing side switch from Noah. Yeah. so clean Ham Jam's my boy with the raid. Hope you had a good stream, buddy. Good to see your name. Hopefully get to see you soon. There we go. The one exchange there on the meter. Up forward, straight afterwards. Bird Perry does find a sweep. Not much else to say for it here. Noah continues to brawl it out. Leaves us here, not able to kill. No, with no meter on the wake up here, and not quite in burnout either. Yeah. Oh, good catch there, absolutely. And that means another one on the board. 2 0 for Pumpo. Or 2 0 for freaking Noah, man. Dude, Noah's been playing insane. So he's just, pressure. He's so confident. Is I feel like confidence is just like. The, the number one word I'd use to describe it is just exuding out of him. Whether it's situations like that where he's able to find the crouching medium or just the way that he pressures. It, it's it's crazy for this guy. Yeah, not for you. There you go. Final throw. Okay, this is closed. Looks for the jab. Able to find the throw into the corner here. Big turnaround. Ouch! <laughs> the hop over is able to get that extra damage because of it. Fireball and finds the jab. Switch up of tempo. Very nice from Complex here. Let's get the round and gets the lead. Okay. OD Fireball very easily jumped here. And that's crazy to say because Complex has not thrown a lot of fireballs, man. Trade, damage. Jumping down, light kick. Get a little bit of mileage out of it done. Crap medium does get the connection here. Complex needs to find a way to get into the CA. Get yourself out of the round, but Noah is going to force it to that potentially final round here. Complex in a little bit of trouble as we go on. Nice anti air. Oh no, and that is just cashes out all of the meter for the extra damage on that one into the level three complex two interactions away. Don't 
Okay, that's a great way to start. Does have the level three of his own still. Make that a CA for his troubles. Oh, but we'll putting something to burn out here now. Uh, especially returning to neutral. This is bad, but here we go. Level three. CA, we'll see where this leaves us. He's going to build a lot of his own gauge back, which is such a big deal. And makes that out of burnout. Opportunity. Gets the hit. Not enough to kill. DI is responding to, but he doesn't have the life. Noah. Noah with a great reaction, but he doesn't have enough to do. He can't pay his taxes. He can't pay the toll, dude. Yo, not the toll, bro. <laughs> not be able to pay the toll, baby. Oh, oh, no. That's a nightmare, dude. Well, that's complex back in it. Dude. But, man, Noah's still business as usual. Now look at two phase by losing out the round in that way. Sets it down to a match point again in a hurry. Okay. Oh, I thought what he was looking for, but didn't get the work on it because of that. Pump us to move forward. Good damage. Ooh, links in the mid screen there. Very nice. The throw. Yep. Oh Dude, the neutral jump. What a way to go. Level three should yep. be enough. I believe that's going to do it. And Noah the Prodigy, absolutely three to one. Whew. Just a quick <laughs> night long it's time for winners finals we've made it we're here we're jb duo kevin it's round one man that's the first hit you know just rashid things already in the corner yeah, i'm gonna check that the side switch there Yo, Kevin. Starting off strong, man. Good damage here in the corner. Catches him pressing the button. In the corner and the wake up. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Aggressive. Have to roll through. Finds the jab. Missed opportunity, but cool, Kevin. You know, opportunities come your way. You can't let them go. Definitely can't. Okay. Let me start up some pressure here. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Let's play a game. Ooh. Okay. Let me set up. Oh man, JB, nerves of steel. Closing that one out, man. Great round one. Okay, found that standing medium. Turning into much. The fireball does get punish counter, but we just DP ourselves out of there. No reason to hold the pressure. Jump in. And great parry there from JB. Trying to maintain that drive gauge. Increasing space. Hey, yeah, good parry. Nice. And we got the corner. ODDP is still in a good spot. No matter too much. Go for the low. Yep. Oh, now this is a Goodness, yeah, looking for it and gets a perfect carry. Result. I do love seeing people do that, right? When the time when they do think someone's gonna try to whip punish a button, you know, doing something quick, then go for a perfect parry afterwards. 
Good job. I will take that, yes sir. Game one goes to JB. Expected to go, yep, straight back into it here. Start immediately gets the touch here in that back heavy kick. Again, such a good way to be able to dump damage. That throw, pressure starts. Okay, we spin it now. I love it. Look down to the boot. It needs a bit more than that, though. Level one. Cross stage. Now you gotta deal with all the sand. Oh, good throw. And you get it, though. Being able to maintain pressure is so important here. And as Rashid, you gotta be careful about which spires you pick. You cannot leave yourself in positions to get punished like that. Okay. Great side switch there from Kevin. Just enough. All right, level two. What's up? Set up punish counter. You still get a mix ups here. Oh, here we again, going with our dry rush and go low. Go here, yeah, absolutely. Up the round count, definitely a big deal on that one. Yeah. Medium, definitely a really big deal as we find it again. This time it's the crouch medium. Look up in the corner, but just as I say that, man, finds a button. Maybe a little bit too eager. Nice. Oh, God. It feels like an eternity has passed between these two games. They're just right <laughs> for, for how much damage is coming out per touch and how aggressive both players are willing to be it feels like it's taking a very long time for these matches to go okay ODDP. i love it you chase down the need you get them in the corner see but jb goes with the low gets himself out of the corner Ooh. not even on a counter hit there it works out beautifully yeah. there from kevin up a little bit of a reversal. Plus on the overhead, you cannot mash. Yeah, better respect it. Good throw. All right, now we're gonna play the game. Yeah, that up fireball at the right angles is an okay anti-air there, at least getting you the trade. Yeah. I think you that pretty good, right? Okay, good throw. And that walk. Okay, good. Level two. He's up. Got Twister on deck. Uh oh. Oh yes, sir. Uh huh. Ooh. Didn't play a game. The timing on the overhead was perfect. Was able to fully cash this out, be as optimal as possible. Level one. Yep. Yo, option. Yo, absolutely. Step back. Oh, just the overhead. Bless you. Dude, good way to bring yourself back into that one. Okay, That's a perfect jump timing there. He wasn't even willing to press the button on the way down just in case of the DP. You can see just how patient JB is being in these spots, but Kevin again not looking too pressed about it. I know. Thank you, Pat. Okay, 
grab his way out. Oh, and that's what oh. I'm talking about with that fireball. Oh. Look at that as an anti-air. <laughs> the damage. Yep. Oh no, he said it. You, you know who I am. You know what it is. Oh my god. No OD for reversal. That doesn't nah, mean it's man. over yet, bro. Not at all, man. My level one versus your level one. I'm doing it every single time. Perfect parry. Afterwards, what a punish again. Get back. Yeah. Luke's not the type of character that cares too much about you changing your jump timing. The yeah. DP goes so damn high. True. Alright, I'm time to guess. What's up? What you got? Going for the low? It's still moving. Opportunity here. Dude. Patience of a monk. JB. Does the level two, runs in, gets him aggressive enough to push Duel Kevin out of the level two. So there's the threat of a throw. He has to let go of parry, and that lets JB set up for a ridiculous high low. Kevin just casually blocks everything. There was so much offense and so much good theory that went into everything JB did there. And Kevin, cool as hell, just does, makes it look like it was easy to deal with. Yeah, acted like it was nothing. <laughs> JB, man, I'm in the corner, but geez. I know Drive Gage to deal with, or to work with, rather. And now, still Kevin on the offensive side here. Just chipping away. One hit will do it. All it takes is a single normal, just throwing in, peppering in the OD fireball occasionally, just to check, mm -hmm. just in case JB wants to try and get a little greedy. Speaking of, man, great check there. Dang, medium kick so good. There you go, get that damage. Get that shoulder, and you are in the corner. Okay, nice DP. Man. Yep. Kevin, again, Perfect. just off the back of incredible defense, is able to completely take control in offensive interaction and how people yeah. deal with it. But on the next one, bro. On the next one, let's get it. Lose semis. See, of course, on another Luke in the building. Hockey has been playing extremely well. So has Flash. Been definitely stellar and neutral. And he always has a set play on deck, regardless. Oh right. my god. We're not going to be able to get maximum damage here and maximum damage to the drive gauge as oh. well. Now I can play my game. Wow. Burned out, man. Sunblock on. See the jump? All of the drive gauge there for cash out. Good corner carry on that one. Keep that pressure going. There's a level three. Nice confirm.
first game was uh, a little one-sided. Yeah, well, just, uh, that uh, was uh, not uh, right. My boy, <laughs> he, dude, like, my man Luke was hype, bro. Pointing to every camera to let them know what's good. That step Damn. back was crazy, bro. Oh no. Body. <laughs> That's great. Okay, opportunity though for Flash has the burnout in the corner. This is big. Yeah. Ball puts a full screen again. Good slide. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. He gets a full setup here. Okay. Dude, his damage is so high in that spot. Dude, it's crazy, man. And that's a very impressive turnaround so far from Flash. The perfect parry, so he is going to be able to close the distance for the punish. Not a lot of damage. The positioning is what matters, really. Yeah. Checking drive versus with standing heavy kick gets the crumple also. Bro. What an answer here in the flash. Hey. Close, wakes up with the jab. Very smart. CA on deck. <laughs> do it. Just do it. Dude. And as, uh, as good an answer as you can ask for for Flash in response after, again, that first game, a little bit of a beat up here. Flash, good to be able to get the uh, get the knowledge required out of that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to punch that slide. The perfection is here. Good damage. Jump through. All the jabs. You got to check that. You said that's like going to be one of the first things you got to see. Like man, the counter DI. Oh, that is a round one. Wow, that is just, uh, man, that is a... Normally I say this about a character, but that's just a no around. Sometimes he yeah. just knows. Sometimes he's just correct twice in a row and you're in the corner and <laughs> you're flipping coins for your life. It just be like that. It just be like that, you know. <laughs> Okay, good jump there from Flash, the side switch. Okay, to put on some pressure. Dude, way to pick it up afterwards. Come through, he's able to parry everything and get the punish. Yeah, thank you for the fun. All right, we're going in round three. And all this meter two, so I'm going to level two depending on the hit here. Up. Yeah. Oh, so close. Not gonna get his old three yet, though. But man, this pressure install not gonna be seen. Yeah, actually gonna get like no value out of it here. He's gonna wake up. It's still gonna be on defense. Not letting him use that at all in the overhead. Wow. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the only things that uh, is is bad about Block is level two is that if you get put on defense immediately afterwards, it just is like a waste of two bars. Yep. Alright, of course, and again we've been seeing that from Noah throughout the course of this tournament. Going into conversions, into the DI, to make sure that he's removing more of his uh, his gauge. It's been pretty effective strategy so far. Okay, the knockdown, fake ball, looks pretty well here. Taps the uh, taps the parry and does get him into burnout. Noah still able to maintain offense even in this burnout state. Oh, good neutral jump. It's the level one. The presence of pressure and an overhead once again to close it out. Second sequence in a row, we've seen Noah have that exact same outcome the throw into the overhead space at a pretty decent range. Now, max damage cash out. 
Yeah, the question is now, is he gonna do that one again? Oh, 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 and instantly into level two. Look at that damage, the perfection. Yo, oh, no what? Thanks for playing. Beast mode, baby. Very close one with Dual Kevin already this tournament. Man, loser's final. Ready, trying to get some offense started here. I love it. You know, being very active here on defense. He's the one to be passive and allow JP to kind of steamroll, especially in this game. You know, such an insane thing. Like, the character do a really strong in the corner. Almost closes it out. Is in burnout though, but very little that we can see JB do here. But we have seen him make it happen before in this kind of corner. Right now, it's looking kind of good. Ive wakes up with the jab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guard block that, minus eight. Definitely a good way to get the punish. Intro check, set up. Fierce man, counter hit, dude. That move is not okay. Uh, like oh, my God. That. another one. Why not overhead? Bro, all I can think of is you see the, the clip of Gachi Kun trying to. He, you see the startup of Heavy Mixer, and he just dies for it. Yep. yep. Oh my God, dude. That's so funny. Again, being active. All right, my triple dash. Oh, we gonna punish here. Level one, and in the corner. Okay. Up afterwards, still in burnout. Able to get good plus frames there. Zero, I believe. Yeah, but oh man, just barely gets it. What a conversion here. We're gonna close that one out. And thank goodness, because he didn't get that opening. I mean, we saw it, right? Noah just about to return on a burnout, and JB was on the verge. Bit of a rough situation. We're gonna go in the round two here, and already Noah trying to start coming off. Slowly walking JB in the corner. I love the reversal. Okay, it's a throw. Jump over, avoids the attempt at the end here. The DP does not work out. Damn, JB ties it up one to one. Good. Game three. You know, the standard opener we've seen from Noah, man. Getting that conversion, easily a dash, double dash up and the throw. There, anti air, blows up jabs. Oh, in the jump pack, you're out of there. Ooh. Okay, how are we doing this corner? Oh no, not at all the place we do want to be. All right, you're gonna find a low though, and you're gonna close out this round. Round two. Oh, and already, what a perfect start there with the perfect parry. Sets up the level two. Give me something to worry about. Yeah. Man. Oh! Yo, get kicked. Oh, you know the time. Oh, he gets all the mixes in the world. You cannot see that. Getting the empty low. Good throw. Overhead. Get blessed. And we're going to burn that green. Yeah, close that out. Oh, man. Oh, I feel like I've seen this movie before, dude. I Not know, like this. Man. I've definitely seen this before. Don't get hit with this. Okay, I okay. bet. <laughs> bless him before he blesses you. Oh, my God. I was going to say, the second he jumps, you know he's swinging that club, bro. Oh, free. <laughs> Bonk, dude. That's it.
good use of the mixer there. Stops the drive rush here. Breaks himself with a jab. And is able to get the anti-air again. To be very preemptive on the anti-air so as to not get, uh, get bonked, as he said. Yeah. Check. Gotta punish him for jumping out of the corner. That's definitely one right there. Perfection. Man. JB said, get me back now. That far medium, dude. Set himself up. Got the, the knife edge chop, call it. Jesus. Mm -hmm. okay, trade back and forth. There we go with the follow up. It's Minty. The TD herself. Thank you very much. $5 contribution straight to the match. Reno, thank you very much. Said, Be the change you want to see. I, I see you. Catch the kick. Plus on that spot. Does it again. Just keeps trying to abuse it from max distance. Yeah. Hey, here comes JB. Oh, nice mixer. Manta here. Overhead blessing. Oh, you are getting flown to the corner. And we're moving here. Yeah, he said, get me out of here, dude. I, I had enough of this mix. It doesn't matter. We're closing that out, and we are going into grand finals, baby. JB, what a conversion. Dude, he has uh, been uh, walking the walk, talking the talk. Once again is our matchup. JB has been doing a pretty decent job of fighting through the, the army of uh, the, the army of Memphis tonight. <laughs> Just the aerial coming through four months. Appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. Already starting off slow and steady with Kevin, winning out the fireball game for the most part here. And after the first meaningful cash out there, JB immediately with the upwards with the mixer finds that knockdown is in the corner now. This is huge. on Rashidin, man. I feel like I always forget he can level one at the end of that yep. string. What a way <laughs> to close feel like it's it. It's over, right? And then it's just not. It's on level one. Ooh. Extension all the way to the wall. Fiend out with the overhead knock and be able to find it. Still okay. He's able to stop him on the jump back, too. I like that walk back. And that spot wants to try and save as much of the bar as he can as he gets yep. into the next round. It's not enough, though. Oh, man. Hits himself out. Okay, opportunity. What are you going to do about it? Yo, run up. Yo, <laughs> that man ran up in his face. He said, I caught you in 4K, baby. Dude. Like, follow and subscribe. <laughs> no way. He thought he was going to be close enough at that range. That was crazy from JB. That's <laughs> insane. We've been saying it all night, but the jump scares continue, bro. It is October 32nd. <laughs> That's the <a> starter. His <laughs> light knuckle forward. Oh, 
Okay. Walk over the smoke part here. Fireball yep. <laughs> tries to come through. <laughs> oh, too low to get it. that force knockdown and just like that we are in burnout hey. Hello. Ooh. I'm starting to there fish uh -huh. okay wait a minute wait a minute did we make a mistake here Oh, that jump was so committed to the idea that he was going to go for the DP there. Yeah. OD Fireball. Oh, he's just waiting, trying to pressure something. Oh, my gosh. Finds a way. JB. Foxy, I think, I think he might be finding that momentum, man. I think he might be finding that momentum. Look at like he might. Kevin gotta stifle this. He cannot let JB get on a roll. There's a standing medium. Use that OD. Okay. Advantage, but JB with the reversal. He just never out of it. Has another level two. We've seen he's got unbelievable miles out of these. Good stuff there. DK finding a way. Okay, the tag connects, but not able to blink anything afterwards. Still okay. does get the dry brush into the jab that turns into a throw and now the pressure in the corner the strike though from luke is always ridiculous <gasps> sweep is not what he wanted think that's that uh, jb looked bad i think dual kevin just looked better so we are gonna have yeah. a tight race to the finish in set one yeah man no thousand percent i mean and this is what we talked about earlier right this is the difference Dual kevin just defense on deck and didn't crumble even if jb like got an opening right he just signs it back up really really being reflective and adapting to a lot of the like the standard like offense we just see from jb and I say standard offense from JB, but his offense is it's not even close to being standard, man. This guy's making it happen, but DK just playing exemplary defense. Good throw to reposition. Level two, just consistently use this to amazing effect. This time, just use it to secure burnout. Oh, wasn't quite close up to the wall. Oh man, and that felt like an execution error on the fireballs there. That or just a big read. Here, JB a little bit behind on the drive gauge, but making up for it pretty easily. Blade drops yeah, and he's bro. mashing DI. 
Bro. There's no way. This is how this goes? Oh my god. And then the left, right. JB, dude. He's an axe murderer. Are you serious? He don't care. Yeah, <laughs> he don't care about anybody's life. There's no way. He said the stream stays live. I don't care. Damn, man. We do it live, baby. <laughs> But no matter what kind of momentum, no matter what kind of uh, like established victories JB is able to get, it's never good enough to knock Kevin off his game. The perfect in response. Dude, he just cuts it off every time. Okay, GP. Just like that. It's not a perfect, but it's damn close. Still, Kevin makes yep. it two to two. What a comeback. What a way to stay composed. Exactly, man. It's the composure that's been insane to me, right? Because it, JB is finding cracks, man. He just seals it up every time. Just like that, we're down to what could be the final game of the tournament. Kevin. Steady at the start, is able to deal with the gyro rush and the jab. JB is big. Throw afterwards too. Drive rush gets him again. Man, good pressure. Charge there, not looking too worried. OD fireball, good idea. Try brush finds the throw again. JB now makes him guess for game and gets the throw. JB on reset point. Mm, trouble ahead. Oh yeah. Finally catches that. I mean, he he's rarely shown the actual overhead. A lot of times he's been going for the empty low, right? So, and I, I always love when people build their mix up on that, right? Because you're just so used to seeing them flying and you're just preparing, and the next option is that much faster, right? Less time to react on that. Most definitely. Bro almost puts it out of reach. Duel Kevin does have the CA. But in a perfect world, you don't want to have to use it to get out of this round, but you might have to. Gets the knockdown again. Okay. Oh, he just we just go for it. Let me deal with it. The patience here. If Kevin hits him, he has to CA. There's no, no way. you can't hold it. Yeah, yeah. Bro, composure again, no way. Okay. Okay. Dude. Gets the throw. Kevin is walking Man. such a tightrope because he doesn't want to give him enough room to level two, but he can't yep. get too close to get traded on. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Jv, dude. I was legitimately so nervous. Jv gets the better of it, and that is a reset. Oh my god. I genuinely thought that he was just gonna let her rip. Like I was just like, I thought he was just gonna pull the trigger, man.
I aged so many years <laughs> watching that last round, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, that's insane. The crazy thing is, I, I feel like we're just gonna go into this next set, and DK is gonna act like it didn't happen. I'm like, <laughs> he's yep. looking. <laughs> Oh, that's one of the coolest things to watch about Kevin is when you see him play, especially in person. Uh, he is just like, he's one of those guys that's just like same expression for the most part. Yeah. He's not, he's not easily shaken. Doesn't show it, uh, except for special occasions. Doesn't seem to show too much crazy emotion when it comes to playing it out. Yeah. We're seeing it here though. JB starting off strong. Oh, good catch. Stop him from starting up. And a great jump. Can you get him in burnout? It's opportunity. Yeah, dropping that combo is huge, but still salvageable. Nice jump yeah. over. 100%. Oh, no, I'm going to get the throw. Good patience there. Two right. again. This has been the decider on so many rounds, mm -hmm. dude. I mean, that, that's just one of those situations, man. Right? Lot on just straight up like a check checkmate scenario. Over to middle. Yeah. Overhead go overhead. through. Yeah. Jesus. Oh my god, empty jump there was so brave. Yeah. game here in this reset. That drive reversal. Uh, overhead. Here we go. We got some more. Hold on to that level one. Yeah. Oh, oh. He, he had him. He had him he on the step back. had it. Oh, wait a minute. And now you got to deal with the burnout. Hey, look at the time, look at the time. Oh, he what? walked up and does it again, that's crazy. Oh, bro, are you serious? Dude, this man is not okay. <laughs> what? what? Oh, yeah. oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. There you go, JB. Answer the response, not looking too scared about it. Okay. Oh, the parade, yeah, and then drive reversal out of there, man. Yeah, he's never dealing with that. Those plus frames out of here. Oh, like, man. come on, man. What a normal. <laughs> you saw JB was trying to do something, too. Of course. That's the worst part. You see someone jump, and your instinct is like, oh, I'm going to do something now. And by that time you do that, the button's already come down. Before, dude, that's another one of those games that just felt like an eternity. Throw, 
Oh, he caught him on skates and still had an action somehow. Yo, get ducked. Drive. Okay, you can drive reversal significantly more often than we've seen before. Because I mean, you always use it against a powered mixer just because you yeah. don't want to have to hold that kind of pressure. Exactly. But he's using it a lot just against like normals. It's working, but it's surprising to see. Yeah. So it's in, it's in game that tempo right now. That is the way. Oh, good job. Guitar combo set up. On him with the lights real quick before we go for the throw. Just come around and see the mixer out. Still somewhat close to the corner though. Almost oh, a punish counter for the whiff. Yeah. JB throwing out a lot of big normals. They're not quite working. Kevin doing a great job in the fireball game and just making JB feel like he needs to take an approach. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a great read there by JB, man. That was the right time to go in. Baited that OD 10 blast at the same time, got a side switch. Good space on the jump. Right here available. Gets the. Okay. Oh, Isaac is able to check with the jab. Kill him for it. Okay. All right. <gasps> Dang, that's 2 0. They're going to go straight back in. Duel Kevin is threatening the tournament here. JB. Maybe out of gas here has had a very long fight to get back to this position and had a uh, obviously put all of his mental into that last one. Hopefully, the decision fatigue is not setting in because that could be a big factor at the end of these tournaments. Oh, a thousand percent. And especially the type of character too. When you're playing Rashid, right, and then you're having people starting to like really block all your mix ups, then you gotta go through the roll of that. It will work. It takes time. It's a lot. But no more time to look through the Rolodex. It's do yes, or sir. die. Duel Kevin threatening the tournament now. Okay, just gonna stem medium kick. All right, we're going high. Blesses him. Okay, has opportunity in the corner. Gotta make these count here, man. Great defense here, DK. It's blessed again though on the top. Goes high. Doesn't bite on the step back here. Comes to level two. Dude, ridiculous defense from Dual Kevin again on that. Oh, good. And I just love like, just the fact that he's like, nope. I know that you usually go low here after you um, give you level two. I know you're still going high, man. He just, he just knew the no mix-up mix-up was in full effect. Great stuff there by DK, man. It looks like he's going to close out on this. Well, he's not going to get this round. But still on the precipice of closing out this reset. Rio. Mm, this is a big start here. Mm -hmm. All the way to the corner. Get the uh -oh. punish counter punish throw. Counter. Uh oh Two guesses for game. Yes, sir. Okay. We're in within reach. Nice check. What's the check? Oh, oh my gosh. No. Wow. Oh, man. So unfortunate there for JV. DK will take that to the bank. Absolutely the perfect. And just like that, dude. DK. Oh, heaven. In the building, man gonna take this <sighs> TNS.